Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's look to the Lord in prayer as we begin this service. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time, Lord. Thank you for your wonderful presence that is your Father, Lord. Thank you for bringing us together in your presence to glorify you, to exalt you and to meet with you, Lord. O oh, Heavenly Father, even today we have come to worship you, exalt you and honor you. Today we are here to see our God being exalted in our praises, in our worship, in our song, in our meditation. Even today, Lord, we pray, O oh Father, from the beginning till the end, may your glory surround us. May your presence be here, O oh Lord. O oh, Heavenly Father, we pray, O oh Lord, from the beginning till the end, fill us with your power, fill us with your glory. Help us to meet with you face to face. Help us to see you face to face. Yes, Lord. We surrender the whole service in the hands of Father. From the beginning till the end, we want to feel your glory here. We want to feel your presence here, O oh Father. And everywhere we are gathered, in the very place we are gathered, we want to see and feel and experience the touch of our Lord. O Heavenly Father, we pray today, O Lord, may your presence and glory fill us, O Lord. May your glory surround us, O Father. O Heavenly Father, we give you the whole service, Lord. Be exalted, be glorified, be honored. And the reason we are gathered is to worship you. And the reason we are gathered is to glorify you. And the reason we are gathered is to see our God being exalted through our worship, through our praises. Oh Heavenly Father, we pray today, Lord, throughout the whole service, be exalted, be honored, be glorified. Father, Lord, those who are joining us, help them, O Lord. To those who are joining us, may your help be revealed. And those who are having a hard time in accessing their network, we pray, O Lord, may your touch intervene, may your hand intervene. We shall see a difference. And O Lord, as we meditate, your words speak to us. Mold our hearts, may it be acceptable in your sight. And O oh Father, we give you all the glory. We send the whole service in your hands. Bless it. In Jesus' the mighty and marvelous name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those who are joining us through Alpha TV, we welcome you and those who are joining us through YouTube, we welcome you and uh, those who are joining us through uh, Facebook page, we welcome you and we welcome you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless us as we worship our God and as we glorify Him through our worship and through our meditation. So let's stand together as we worship our God. The first song says, Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. As I, as I tell you, every uh, week kindly focus here. Uh, do not get, let your mind be diverted to anything else because our God is a living God. He wants you to please Him. He wants me to please Him. We have come to His presence to worship Him. Let's just focus on worshiping Him. The first song says, Blessing and honor, glory and power be into the ancient of days from every nation all of creation 
bow before the ancient of days every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory every knee shall bow at your throne in worship you will be exalted o god and your kingdom shall not pass away o ancient of days hallelujah there is a day coming and when every knee will bow before him and every tongue will confess that jesus christ alone is our god the days and everything we see is telling us the day that every knee bows before him is very soon the day that every tongue confesses that jesus christ is lord is very soon let's sing and glorify him blessing and honor glory and power be unto the power be into the ancient of faith from every nation all of creation bow before the ancient of faith blessing and honor glory and power be into the ancient of faith from every nation all of creation bow before the ancient of faith and sing it out blessing and honor glory and power be unto the angel of faith from every nation all of creation bow before the angel of this sing it one more time oh blessing and honor glory and power be unto the angel of faith from every nation all of creation Bow before the ancient of faith. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of faith. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted O God and your kingdom shall not pass away O ancient of days O ancient of days Let's sing and honor glory and power be unto the ancient of days From every nation all of creation bow before the Ancient of days, sing it out. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted O God and your kingdom shall not pass away O ancient of days Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory every knee shall bow at your throne In worship you will be exalted O God and your kingdom shall not pass away O ancient of days O oh, ancient of days, blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Come on, sing it up. O oh, blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation. All of creation bow before the ancient of faith. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of faith. Every tongue in heaven and earth. Shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. 
Sing unto the ancient of day For none can compare to your matchless work, matchless work Sing unto the ancient of day Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth, all the earth Sing unto the ancient of day For none can compare to your matchless work, matchless work Sing unto the ancient of day Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. O ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. Power be into the ancient of day. Oh, from every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of day. Sing it up. Oh, blessing and honor, glory and power be into the ancient of day. Oh, from every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of day. So one more time. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. O ancient of days. Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth, all the earth. Sing unto the ancient of days. For none can compare to your matchless work, matchless work. Sing unto the ancient of days. Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth, all the earth. Sing unto the ancient of days. For none can compare to your matchless worth, matchless worth. Sing unto the ancient of days. Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth, all the earth. Sing unto the ancient of days. For none can compare to your matchless worth, matchless worth. Sing unto the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth. Shall declare your glory, every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God, and your kingdom shall not pass away, 
Every knee will bow, bow, bow before Him. Every knee will worship Him. Every knee will bow before Him. Come on, worship Him. Come on, worship Him. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ alone is Lord. Every tongue will confess. Every tongue will say that Jesus Christ alone is God. Oh, Rikana Namar and Rikana Namashika and Abar and Rikana Naba. Oh, Rikana Namashika and Amar and Rikana Naba. Because He alone is Lord. He alone is to be glorified. He alone is to be exalted. He alone is to be worshipped. Come on, worship Him, glorify Him. Oh, Rikana Namar and Rikana Namashika and Amar and Rikana Naba and Rikana Naba. Oh, Rikana Namashika and Amar and Rikana Naba. Every knee will bow before Him. Every knee will bow before Him, saying, He is. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. Oh, come on, somebody worship Him. Oh, Every tongue will confess. The days are coming. The days are coming. The hour has come. Every knee will bow before Him. And every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ alone is God. He alone is the living God. He alone is the Savior. And every Everyone is going to be confessing that Jesus Christ alone is Lord. Oh, Rikana Nama Shikana Nama Rikana Nama Rikana Nama Shikana Nama Rikana 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 Nama Oh, Rikana Nama Shikana Nama Rikana Nama Rikana Nama Because our God overcame the death. Because our God overcame the death. As we worship you, Lord, as we exalt you, Father. Hallelujah. As He alone is Lord. As He alone is Lord. risen from the dead and he is Lord every knee shall bow every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord he is Lord he is Lord he has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Come on, sing it up. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Jesus Christ. 
Christ is Lord. You're my Lord. You're my Lord. You're my Lord. You have risen from the dead and you're my Lord. My knee shall bow. My tongue confess that Jesus Christ, you're my Lord, you're my Lord, you're my Lord. You have risen from the dead and you're my Lord, my You're my Lord. Come on, sing it up. You're my Lord. Lord. You're my Lord. Confess it and do it. You have risen from the dead. And you're my Lord. My knee shall bow. My tongue confess that Jesus Christ. Lord, you're my Lord. You have risen from the dead and you're my Lord. My knees shall my tongue can that Jesus, you're my He is king. He is king. He has risen from the dead. He is king. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is king. He is King, come on. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. Jesus Christ is King. He is King. He is King.
Yes, Lord, every knee will bow before you. Every tongue will confess and worship that my God alone is Lord. That my God alone is God. Every knee will bow before you. Every knee will bow before you. Every knee will bow before you. Come on, church. May your tongue confess that Jesus Christ alone is Lord. May your tongue confess that Jesus Christ alone is God. May your tongue confess that Jesus Christ alone is Lord. May your tongue confess that Jesus Christ alone is King. May your tongue confess that He alone is the Savior. May your tongue confess that He is is greater than any other oh rikanana marana rikanana mashikanana marana rikanana baha rikanana marana rikanana mashikanana baha yes lord you are worthy of all our praises you are worthy of all our praises every tongue is going to worship why not we worship you lord every tongue is going to confess that you are lord why not we confess that you are lord oh rikanana mashikanana baha we worship you father Ori kana na mar na dri kana na ma shi kana na ba ri kana na mar na dri kadu dri kana na ma shi kana na ba we worship you lord we exalt you father we glorify you lord we exalt you lord ori kana na ma shi kana na mar na dri kana na ba is my god alone is to be glorified yes lord you alone are to be glorified you alone are to be exalted Worship you, Father. Yes, we glorify you, Lord. Oh, we can and am as she can and am are in the dry can and above. Hallelujah. Oh, we can and am as she can and am are in the dry can and above. Oh, we can and am as she can and am are in the dry can and above. Yes, we exalt you, Father. You alone are to be exalted. You alone are to be glorified. Hallelujah! Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power in majesty. Praise to the King. Mountains bow down, and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hand. Forever I love you. Forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have. Yeah, nothing compares to the promise I have in you. There is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise at the wonders of your mighty
never cease to shape you. Shout to the Lord on the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down. Stand, nothing compares. 
Yes, worship him. Come on, tell him, Lord. I shout unto you, Lord. All the earth will sing. All the earth will sing. All the earth will proclaim that my God is a great God. All the earth will sing unto you. And all the earth will say, He is Lord. All the earth will proclaim. He alone is to be what? what worshipped. He alone is to be exalted. All the earth will proclaim. The whole earth will proclaim. The whole world will proclaim that He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He alone is worthy to be praised. I make my soul to worship you. I make my spirit to worship you. I make my body to worship you. I make my heart to worship you. I make my mind to worship you. That every part of me, everything in me shall worship, will worship you alone, O oh Lord. Yes, we worship you, Lord. We glorify you, Father. Yes, we worship you, Lord. We exalt you, King. O King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we worship you, Lord. We exalt you, Father. We glorify you, Lord. You alone are to be worshipped. You alone are to be exalted. Hallelujah. 
I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. With the whole world, as every tongue confesses, as every knee bows before you, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I exalt you. Hallelujah. When I look into your holiness When I gaze into your loveliness When all things that surround me Become shadows in the light of you When I found the joy of reaching your heart When my will becomes enthralled in your When all things that surround me Become shadows in the light of you I worship you I worship you
hearts that surround me become shadows in the light of Lord, the reason I live is to worship you. The reason I live is to worship you. When every tongue confesses that you are Lord, when every knee bows before you, who am I that keep me away from worshiping you? How great am I that to say I cannot worship God? How can I keep myself silent? when every creation is worshiping you how can i keep me silent when every creature is worshiping you lord i worship you lord i exalt you i confess that my god alone is worthy to be praised i confess that my god alone is worthy to be exalted we glorify you we exalt you be honored be glorified in jesus the mighty and marvelous name we pray amen hallelujah hallelujah turn around and uh, greet the person next to you maybe your family member your friend whoever is next to you greet them in unity in unity la 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 We hold our food and our flesh and it is For brothers to dwell together We hold our food and our flesh and it is For brothers to dwell together In unity, in unity La 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 We hold our food and our flesh and it is For brothers to dwell together We hold our food and our flesh and it is For brothers to dwell together Hallelujah Please be 
be seated god bless you uh, we welcome you everyone who have joined us we welcome you those who are joined through the alpha tv those who are joined through the youtube and those who are uh, joining us through the facebook we welcome you and may god bless you for all the uh, for everything you have been doing and for you are taking time to worship god with us and uh, may god bless you and also uh, may god uh, increase you and grant all your heart's desire and importantly kindly remember that we uh, need a place of worship for our church uh, on the other side of thirumangalam so kindly keep that in your mind kindly pray over it may god meet all our needs and also if you are watching uh, 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 this service through whichever medium you are watching so uh, if you are watching through uh, alpha tv you can uh, send a text to us saying alpha tv and uh, if you are uh, watching uh, this service through youtube you can uh, send a text uh, to us that you are watching through youtube you can just send uh, youtube and your name so we will be knowing which uh, that s- this medium is uh, useful for you so we can uh, we can do things accordingly and we are so because we can do many more things if we if it it would work so kindly uh, if you are watching through alpha tv kindly let us know just alpha tv your name uh, you may not be a uh, part of our church but you may be watching this service so uh, doesn't matter just say that alpha tv and uh, the uh, just your name so we will know that these many people are watching uh, through alpha tv and we can uh, we can arrange things accordingly so kind that's why uh, we want to take a, a, this is a kind of census or like a feedback form so uh, kindly if you are uh, there is a number on the screen so you can send a text to that number and also you will see the number the coming up on the uh, if you are watching through alpha tv to my right if you are watching through youtube and facebook to my left you may see Uh, to my left for youtube and facebook there will be the number mentioned so if you are watching through it kindly send a text to us if you are celebrating your birthday this week would you please stand up if you are celebrating a wedding anniversary this week would you please stand up heavenly father thank you for this time lord thank you for your wonderful presence that is of father lord lord heavenly father thank you for being in our midst thank you for being honored through our worship of father even now Uh, Lord I send that those who are celebrating their birthday in the coming week oh father bless their birthday and they shall see many more birthdays like this and worship you and those who are celebrating their anniversary we give them in hands so lord bless them oh father and the lord join them together and they shall grow in love they shall grow in understanding and uh, everything they do as a family shall prosper and they shall worship you forever as a family as joshua said i as for my me and my household we will worship you we will serve you and serve the lord and they shall serve you alone o oh father and bless them and they shall be useful those who are celebrating the birthday and wedding anniversary they shall be useful for your kingdom for your ministry for your church and also for the society we give you all the glory bless them in jesus the mighty and marvelous name we pray Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all stand together as we give unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time, Lord. Thank you for your wonderful presence at your Father. Lord, we have come to give unto you bless of offerings and multiply it, O Father, may it be useful for your ministry and as we give you, we want to give you more. Give us the ability to give you more, O Father, Lord. O oh, heavenly father we bless you o oh, father and o oh, father those who have lost their job we remember them give them a better job o oh, lord and those who have not received their salary their income we pray o oh, father bless it and they shall receive speak to the people those who have to credit them 
we pray o lord they shall receive it from you meet all their needs and nothing shall lack in the in our lives in jesus the mighty and marvelous name we pray amen confession one two three go i believe in the trinity i believe my sins are forgiven on the cross and i am cleansed the blood of the slain lamb jesus christ I believe in the holy bible the powerful perfect word of god i am what it says i am i have what it says i have i can do what it says i can do today as i'm taught the word of god i am ready to receive it with a wide open heart i will never never and never again be the same in jesus name amen hallelujah please be seated hallelujah The title for today's sermon is Accepted. Accepted. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Psalm. Psalms, the book of Psalms. In the book of Psalms, Psalm number 141. Psalm 141 verse 5. Let a righteous man strike me, that is a kindness. Let him rebuke me. That is oil on my head. My head will not refuse it. For my prayer will still be against the deeds of evildoers. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time, Lord. Thank you for your wonderful presence. That is for Father, Lord. We have come to meditate your word. Speak to us. Send us your living word. We want to listen to your word. We want to hear from you. Lord, may your word speak to us, O oh Father. We open our hearts and... Uh, we have opened our minds. We want you to speak to us. Hide your servant and reveal yourself. In Jesus the mighty and marvelous name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 141 verse 5. Let a righteous man strike me. That is a kindness. Let him rebuke me. That is oil on my head. My head will not refuse it. For my prayer will still be against the deeds of evil doers in in a nutshell king david is teaching us to pray for the righteous man who 
corrects us. He is telling us that we should be on the side of someone who corrects, accepts the correction from others. We will have mentors, most of us have mentors, we will have uh, people over uh, above us. For example, uh, to say in assemblies of God, if you take uh, being an assistant pastor or asso associate pastor or pastor in charge for uh, the Renaissance AG Church, I have my dad above me and above him is the uh, presbyter, above him is the overseer, above him is the uh, general committee of uh, for Tamil Pradesh Assemblies of God, Tamil Pradesh Assemblies of God. Then above them is the South India Assemblies of God. Above them is All India Assemblies of God. Above them is the World AG. So, we have a hierarchy and we have people above us to be accountable unto them. So, sometimes when these people say something, we will be ready to accept it. Or when we have some somebody uh, 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 in, in friendship with us, we will be ready to accept it. At some point, when somebody else comes and tells us or advises us or rebuke, rebukes us, as the Bible says, it is not very easy to accept that. To to be in a precise manner for the young people in this generation when somebody advises them, it is not easy for them to take it up. It is not easy to take it up. They are not ready to listen to those things. They are in a mindset that, mindset that they are right. What they are doing is right. We don't need anybody to correct us we don't need to we don't need anybody to tell me that whether i am right or wrong i don't need anybody to examine my activities i don't like anybody telling me that what you are doing is wrong that is how the present generation is even the generation before they don't want anybody to tell them that what they are doing is wrong they don't want any righteous man to correct them. To be frank, the believers in the 21st century are not okay with their pastors correcting them. I watched a video in the Facebook that showed in Africa, uh, the, church, uh, the church is going on and uh, in front of the pulpit there are there is a big space around, uh, may it be, maybe uh, that is 30 feet or uh, 40 feet. Uh, yeah, like our church, uh, half of our church. And uh, that is a big crowd. And there were so many people lying down on the Andor space. And the pastor was holding a stick and beating them on their back as they were lying, lying down. Do you know why the reason? Do you know the reason? Yes, because they did not understand. Sorry, they did not attend the service last week. They did not attend the service last week, Sunday service last week, the previous week. So the next week they had the punishment in front of everyone, like the school teacher. Even now, in this generation. Uh, for this generation, the teach, even the teachers could not correct their students because they think that it is against the human rights. They, they themselves, the parents themselves are creating criminals. I have heard so many people say that when somebody comes late to the church, if, uh, for example, let's say our service is by 7, if you come by 7.30, the worship will be going on. But even during the worship, you will have to stand up in your place and you will have to shout, Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you will have to sit. So the whole church will know that this person has come late. Imagine if it happens during the sermon. The pastor will be preaching from the friend and this person will come late. Nowadays we come late and we uh, go behind the door and we will find the last row and there are some people they don't even find the last row. They will be simply walking over the church and everybody will be watching them. Even sometimes they will carry their children and they will be speaking to them and walking. They don't even mind that they, are, they have come late to the church. Here up, David says, When the righteous man comes to me and corrects me, I, my prayer will not be against him. Still my prayer will be against the evil doers, not against the man who is correcting me. So he has a mind of accepting the corrections from the righteous man. When a righteous man comes to you and tells you what you are doing is wrong. You are not doing it right. It, God is not pleased with you. Change it. Change your way. You, this is not how you are supposed to live. Recently we were to a engagement. And <clears throat> the what to say the the groom uh, the yet to be groom yes he did not bring the bible so the pastor said where is your bible man even to the f occasion you have not brought your bible ask somebody get their bible and go and sit and he argues with the pastor that he has bible in his mobile he was not ready to carry it because he was not ready to accept the rebuke of the, of, the, of, the, of the righteous man. That is the worst situation that we are living in. We are not ready to accept the rebuke that the righteous man is giving. You should accept it. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verses 14 and 15. Please turn to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Verses 14 and 15, if you read it, very clearly he says, Take special note of anyone who does not obey our instruction in this letter. Do not associate with them in order that they may feel ashamed. Yet do not regard them as an enemy, but warn them as you would a fellow believer. And if you read above uh, those verses, you will understand clearly that uh, Paul is requesting the brothers to correct one another, but in love. So as he was saying, he says, yet do not regard them as an enemy, but warn them as you, as you would a be fellow believer. So Paul is teaching to us that you and I are to be correcting our fellow believers. Correcting our brothers and sisters. Correcting one another. When Paul is teaching those things, we as the person who was corrected should be, should be, very, uh, should be ready to accept the correction we receive. When, Paul, when David said, I will pray for the righteous man who corrects me, he even did that. When he said, I will accept all the corrections that I am receiving. In fact, he, he did that. Please turn your Bibles to 2 Samuel chapter 12. Second Samuel chapter 12, 
verses 7 through 9 12 7 through 9 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Then Nathan said to David you are the man this is what the Lord the God of Israel says I anoint I anointed you king over Israel and I delivered you from the hand of Saul I gave your master's house to you and your master's wives into your arms I gave you all Israel and Judah and if all this had been too little I would have given you even more Why did you despise the word of the Lord by doing what is evil in his eyes you struck down Uriah the Hittite with a sword and took his wife to be your own you killed him with the sword of the Ammonites so God was displeased with the act of David he sent people and he planned everything to take batsepha batseba for him so he planned everything he planned all, all what what has to happen he planned everything that uh, the the ammonites uh, kill uria that everybody in the in the nation will believe that uh, he was died in the war that's why king has taken his wife so he planned everything and even before he was planning everything and that did not work out when he was in the in the in the in the battlefield he planned it and he sent his people to kill him and they let him go into the ammonites uh, army camp and they killed him and this man took uh, the wife of uria what happened that was the time he took he took the wife of uria uria and uh, batsheba he took and that was the time god sent nathan unto him remember david has sinned against god now the righteous man is going to king david to correct king david what is happening over there when the righteous man went to correct king david as king david was singing in psalm 145 we read in in this chapter second samuel chapter 12 verse 13 if you read then david said to nathan how dare you come and correct me no that was not the bible that was not what bible says in verse 13 it says then david said to nathan i have sinned against the lord nathan replied the lord has taken away your sin you are not going to die hallelujah imagine that is the character that god is expecting from you when 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 the man of god comes to you and says this is not how you should be living do not lie brother do not have a relationship such do not uh, commit adultery do not lie do not do all these things brother god is against you sister do not do this god is against you when somebody when a man of god comes to you and says when a righteous man comes to you and says do not say that how dare that man can speak to me how dare can that how dare that can, that man can come to me and say my plan is wrong my life is wrong do not say so even a king if a king moves his hand if the king if king david says kill him just two words kill him all the soldiers would have ran and ran on nathan and killed him right there but david did not do that he accepted the correction from the righteous man god sent nathan so nathan went to him and said god this is what god says my brother you have sinned against god when nathan said unto king david king david was saying i accepted yes i have sinned against god my dear brothers and sisters when god sends some people to correct you do not think that every time god will come and appear before you and say that yeah this is the plan go ahead do it god will appear before you and say that no this is not what i want you to do do not think that every time god will do that sometimes god will appear to you in your dreams god will appear to you in your in your prayer time but that doesn't mean that every time god has to come to you that is why god has set people around you to correct you to speak to you to 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 lead you to guide you god has set pastors for you god has set shepherd for you god has 
set fellow believers for you some righteous men are around you when they come to you and correct you accept it and change yourself do not think that some people are there in front of them will say okay brother okay brother i accept yes yes okay sister young yeah, what you are saying right and behind they speak how dare she can speak to me who is she to tell me what she knows about me what does she does she have any cap, any quality uh, uh, qualification to speak to me the all these things we 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 speak against them but what david is teaching to us uh, my dear brothers and sisters uh, when somebody is coming to correct you remember it is the time for you to speak and accept them and speak to them nicely and david even goes to the extent to say you will have to pray for those people you will have to pray against the evil doers but you will have to pray for those who have come to you and correct you my dear brothers and sisters would you take your life would you take time to to glorify god by accepting the correction from the people who brought word from you when that happened yes if you read the verse 14 nathan says but because by doing this you have shown utter contempt for the lord the son born to you will die after nathan had gone home so nathan was going home safely nathan was going home safely you and i know why saul died you and i know that why saul died because when a man of god came to him and said samuel wait for me till i come he disobeyed he was not ready to accept the word that came from the righteous man and you know the end he died he died are you going to be like saul or are you going to be like david do not worry about what others are saying how, the, how others are living yes we see people commenting on the men of god we see people commenting on others yes that doesn't mean that you also should be the same because everybody goes to hell will you be okay to go to hell not right in the same way because others are not not accepting the correction from the lord that doesn't mean that you also should reject it when god sends it may be even younger than you sometimes it happens it will be the people who are younger than you but accept it accept the correction do not say that i am not ready to accept it say that god i am correcting myself i am correcting myself tell god lord i am ready to accept the correction you are sending through people when a righteous man comes to you accept it and correct yourself as david says and pray for that righteous man shall we all look to the lord in prayer hallelujah look to the lord in prayer and worship him and tell him lord i will correct myself when a righteous man comes to me to correct me i will correct myself yes 
when righteous man comes to me i will correct me lord heavenly father thank you for this time lord thank you for your wonderful presence that is our father lord those who have joined us today oh lord we pray oh father lord bless them abundantly and oh father and as they give their life to accept the correction from the righteous people and i pray you will send your righteous people to correct these people oh lord and please send the righteous people to correct us to set us right to set our way right please send your people lord i surrender everyone hands of father may the coming week be a blessed week oh father may your presence and guidance be with them wherever they go send your angels and guard them oh father whatever they do shall prosper and may your glory surround us oh father lord and oh father even in this pandemic oh father lord we pray oh lord may your hand be upon us may you may you may you god around us send your angels and keep us under your under your wings and this virus shall not attack us we shall be safe in your hands oh lord and remember our nation rescue our nation have mercy on our nation and especially we pray oh lord churches shall be opened the gates of the churches shall be opened and we as a family shall worship you coming to your holy place coming to your place oh lord help and speak to our authorities speak to our pcm and the churches shall be opened Lord I surrender everyone those who have joined us today bless them oh father whatever they have been praying for shall be fulfilled and be glorified in Jesus the mighty and marvelous name we pray amen may the grace of our lord jesus christ love of the father come in joy and peace of the holy spirit abide in us forever and ever amen god bless you see you next week bye bye